What's going on guys? Matt at Middleton Motorsports here and welcome to our YouTube channel. We have a, uh, another dyno session we're doing here with some tuning and uh, today we got a 2021 GT500 up in the dyno. So I got this all strapped down and uh, this is a pretty cool livery on this one with the, the red stripe and the number. This is a 21 carbon fiber track pack and this one we just got finished with our MM900R package on. So MM900 stands for 900 horsepower and uh, I'll kind of go over what that entails. So JLT cold, cold air intake, uh, so superchargers ported, we got the VMP Predator, Apex Predator lid and their Apex Predator cooler. So it's a taller cooler that actually fits this lid. So it's actually taller than like the Whipple cooler and, some, and the other cooler that VMP sold that fits under the stock lid. That cooler is taller than all of those and that lid allows that to be even taller so we see a big difference the other coolers that are sold that fit on the stock lid kind of a marginal cooling increase these things actually increase quite a bit so road america on the straightaways on a summer day normally we'd be seeing 170 iet's manifold air temperatures these will hold the temperatures down in the 130s and even a little cooler on a cooler day so those things just work awesome um, this has, we're doing this car in E85, so this car has aftermarket fuel rails and ID 1050 injectors and two inch American Racing primary long tube headers on this thing with the American Racing three inch connection pipes and X pipe. So can't really see that stuff. Uh, we also coat, we do a Cerakote on our headers. It's an option, most guys go for it, but uh, it's a double coat, so the inside of the headers has a, a thermal barrier or it's like a piston coating and then and then the outside is kind of your standard uh heat thermal coating that silver kind of that kind of flat silver color that you see a lot of coating companies do um and that helps just under hood temperatures we really want to, again when we're road racing these cars and you know as you can see this car is a road race deal um heat is our enemy and every little bit we can take out from underneath the hood is a uh, is a huge benefit so um, and I mentioned 900 R so the R gets us into suspension mods so we did ground control caster camber plates so we can get more negative camber especially on these things these things work really good on track with with three degrees negative camber or th even three and a half degrees negative camber um, and we also did in the rear uh, control arms camber arms or I should say toe links camber arms um, diff lockout and cradle lockout bushings from BMR and that's the uh, there's a lot of movement out of the rear cradle and rear suspension on these cars and with this kind of horsepower we're putting out with these things we want to be able to kind of control that a little better and that stuff really helps a ton giving the car a little bit better feel and uh, locking that rear end in place and holding the alignment settings a little better on track so power wise here we are so far um, this is probably we're getting into maybe the fifth or sixth run. I just have the last two runs up. So I'm going to do probably one or more, two more runs here, uh, make some tune changes. I'm, I got the fueling where I want it. I always start out with fueling. So I got the fueling where I want it and that's where we're at right now. Um, I got the cam angles pretty much where I need them to be. I've done enough long tube header tuning on these 500s with this, at these boost levels with this. And I forgot to mention on this guys, this is a stock pulley. Uh, road racing, we just don't recommend going anything smaller than a 2.9 even. Um, it's just kind of pointless, produces too much heat, and you just don't need all that power. You're just into traction control all the time, and it's, it's just it's harder on the car. There's no need. So, so stock pulley, I forgot to mention that. Back to this. So up here, I'm going to add a little bit more ignition timing, and I'm hoping to see, obviously, we want to see that 900 number. We've done this package a bunch of other times, and... Um, I know where I need to be for timing. I was just a little soft on it while I got the fueling in line. So I'll bring you guys along for the last pull. I'll set the camera down. We'll film that very last pull once I get, get to that point. And uh, we'll see what it makes. And we'll go over, go over some of the data logging. Sorry about the noise in the background, guys. The shop's middle of the day here. Shop's rolling. Um, we'll go over that last pull. We'll go over the data log. And uh, we'll, we'll see where we end up. guys final pull we just hit our number so you can see I did a couple more 
right on 900, almost 901 to the tire, 644 torque. And uh, yeah, there you go. 900 package on E85. So uh, this uh, this car will be ready to go. We got another about another another month before our row racing season starts, and uh, yeah, this will be this thing will be flying. So that'll wrap it up for this car. Actually, before I say that, because I always do this, and I'll keep with tradition for you guys that want to see it. I know sometimes to a lot of people it's not the most interesting thing, but so. Data log. So, um, again, standard standard GT500. You've seen this before. Um, yeah, low 20s. You know, 23 degrees of timing. Boost on this one. We're seeing about uh, um, oh, 14, touching 14 pounds there. Um, if we did a bigger throttle body, like my car is a bigger throttle body on it, I'm seeing 15 ish pounds. The only thing with the bigger throttle bodies, though, is we have a little kind of a funky tip-in thing going on with the bigger throttle bodies uh, during a road racing situation, such as if you're like 6,000 RPM and you're kind of holding the throttle on and off like through a, through a sweeping corner at high speed. Um, the throttle bodies kind of want to still shuttle around a little bit, and that's just some tuning stuff that I, uh, I'm still kind of working on. Idle and drivability on the street are fine with the big throttle bodies. It's just that high RPM kind of open close open close open and close or you get a little bit of a shuttle real real subtle amount of shuttling so just something i'm going to work through and uh fine tune before we're selling that to our for to our road race customers um air fuel i keep these try to keep these right at the 0.8 lambda mark um which is like mid 11s if you're talking a gasoline air fuel ratio scale and uh yeah that's looking pretty good um corrections are right around zero for everything for fueling so um this does put us near the limit of the fuel pumps when we're on this 900 package on e85 um that's about not quite to the limit we're, we're finding like my car made 938 and that's the fuel pump is starting to waver so we we've seen nine as high as 960 on the stock pumps but uh we're kind of calling it 950 for the limit and you'll kind of see that that's pretty much the trend so yeah that'll wrap this up for this car Thanks for, for checking. Thanks for checking on the channel, guys, and uh, keep checking back on our social media for uh, more videos. And we got lots more coming online. Like I always say, I got three other cars on the rack. I got a BMW. Um, got some other stuff coming out. So we'll have it strapped up here, and uh, you guys can watch some dinos of that stuff. So thanks for watching. And we'll talk to you guys later.